So I've right. just got a simple um, polymesh 3D tool in here. I'm going to come down here to initialize and go to a cylinder. And I probably want it to be in this direction, this way. Um, for now, I'm going to leave this on and move this over. And we'll start with the barrel because it seems to be the easiest. And we'll come back and make it hollow in a bit. But for now, um, let me move this in the middle actually. I'm just going to start blocking out some of the basic forms here. We'll come back and um, get the other stuff after the fact here. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Um, so I'm going to hold Control and drag a copy of it. Drag it to here. Like that. Scale it in times here. Get rid of this too. And maybe go a little bit thinner and then scale it up so we get a little bit of um, depth to it like this. We'll come back and smooth those later. Now I've got that. I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here. Oops. Control and drag a copy of this over here. Couldn't be shift, right? Control and drag it over to here. Control and drag it over to here. Control and drag it over to here. So now I've got that. Um, and it may be a little bit big. We can always come back and look at that later. Just trying to get some basic forms in here. So next I'm going to make this cylinder for the thing. Now the one thing we don't have for this this um, piece is a side view. So we're going to have to fake it, which is fine. OK. We do have some other shots, which we'll take a look at in a second. All we're doing is grabbing some of the basic forms here and putting them out. Okay. This one right here is one of the ones I struggled with trying to figure out the best way to get to. But let's see if we can find more cylinders before we do all that. Let's come here. I'm going to drag this one out, even though it's a separate piece. Oops. And then we'll scale it down. Now, I don't want to scale it in one direction because if I scale it in one direction, it's going to be like that. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to scale them all uniform and then scale it the direction I need for the whole width. So like this. Move it over a little bit. Like this. And some of the stuff we'll do with... Um, chamfering instead of the um, mesh, uh, Z remesher, or Z mesher. Okay, so I see another cylinder here. I see a bunch of these screws. I'm not going to worry about those. I see a sphere. This is kind of a box. I'm going to just drag a copy of this, throw it down here, rotate it a little bit, the center.
This one, I'm going to try what I was thinking before. Um, you know what? And I should have done it when I was up there. Try this up here. All the shift to rotate it nice and cleanly. Rotate it nice and cleanly to 90 degrees. Try to get to there. Scale it out. And then we'll start looking at the side here. Let's go to F. Okay. Since we're doing it all on the center plane, it's probably pretty good. This one needs to be a little bit wider, like that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to come to my Z modeler. It's going to complain about my uh, non dynamic brush that I had set up. Put this down here. If you roll over this, I'm going to press spacebar. I'm going to go to poly group, single poly, and I'm going to click, click. And if I don't like that one, I can click, alt, alt, to find something I like, like that one, click. And probably I'm going to do this one and this one, like that. Yeah, I'm going to separate this one out too real quick. Subtool, we're going to come to split, and we're going to say split mass points, which I think, yeah, right here, split mass points. So now I have this piece as a separate piece. Back up. All right. So I'm actually going to grab this one and this one too. So I've got them all in that color. All right, like that. Oops, hello. There we go. So next tool I'm going to come to is I'm going to come over here and click. And I'm going to come over to Transpose. I'm going to pick Polygroup All. I'm going to click here. And what that does is it allows me to mask out everything. If I push Shift B but those those faces I have. And the reason I do that is because then I can come down here to Alt and click on this to re straighten it out here. Oops. And then if I control drag, you see I pull out a flat surface across this piece. So I'm going to come back to Shift P, put that in so I get the right length. Now, one of the things I could do is, and I'll pull this down in a second, but let's look over here. What do we want to do with this one? It's rounded, so let me pull up some other pictures. Okay, these are both rounded, as they should be, because they're um, wooden handles. So the question is, do we want to start with a cylinder and then cut it? I think I'm going to do it that way. So let me go back to front here, take a look. I'm going to pull back in here, grab this piece right here, and then I'm going to look at this as a cylinder, the cap of this. I'm actually going to look at the picture and see if I can see a better shot. Yeah. Okay. So the cylinder cuts about, I'm going to cut it to about right there. That's the width I'm going to do, and then I'll just extrude that top part up. Okay. And then we'll do some trim stuff to cut it. So could I use this cylinder? Could I just import another cylinder? One of the things I don't like that I haven't set up here is, let me turn on Enable Customize and go to... Control Enter Insert, and then turn off Customize Transform um, Preferences Configure uh, Store Configuration. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say Insert like this, and then I'm going to take a cylinder 3D, which will be too big and that's fine. We're going to come down to Initialize anyway because it's got that weird cap on it anyway, the cap like that. And I'm just going to say a cylinder, and we're going to do the same thing in the X. There we go. 